Well hello, welcome back to another video over this festive period. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves and keeping safe at the same time. So a mod that's overdue I think to be taken a look at is Stalker Soup. I have played it um, a long time ago now and it may have been my own error but I found it very unstable. I believe the mods had some patches since so hopefully uh, our experience will be a bit more stable this time round. So I'm going to go and show you how I went about getting this to work. Now, a small confession, I haven't got DX11 working on it. I'm only using DX9. I don't know why. I've tried deleting the shaders, which I've heard is one possible solution, but that hasn't worked. Right, so once you've downloaded the installer, we want to go to your download location and then simply copy this onto, in this instance, I'm going to copy it to my desktop, but I will be installing it, as mentioned, not to my C drive. So let's remember to copy, and then paste. Okay, there we are. So there's the extracted contents of the original download. So I'll create a folder in my E drive, and let's call it here we are, Stalker Soup video installation. And back to the extracted file, just double click. This original installer will install a, an old version, but it does come with an updater, so don't panic. Uh, accept the agreement. There's a bit of uh, information you can read there. And then click next when you're ready. That's the sort of default location to install it, but we don't want to do that according to the instructions anyway. So I'm going to go to Browse and I'm going to go to my recording drive. There we are, the file I made earlier, Stalker Soup video installation. That's where it's going. I'm just going for a default installation. Now this will take some time to install. It took about eight to 10 minutes earlier on when I practiced the installation. Uh, but depending on your system, it may take less, it may take longer. And there we are, finally, it has been done. And in our file in my E drive, we can now see that the game has been installed. So what we need to do is to update this version. And I'm not going to check run Stalker Soup. I'm just going to click finish. And let's update. Takes a moment or two to come to life, but it will do. And this will download and install Stalker Soup 1.1.0019 setup.exe. So again, next. And just let it do its thing. Select the setup language again. And then click update. And next. And the usual what we saw earlier. So I'm going to leave that checked and then just click finish. Right, up comes a launcher. So Game Manager, um, Motion Blur, I'm leaving unchecked. That's the shadow map, I believe. I think last time the default for some reason was on 3072. I don't know why it's 1024. Maybe because I haven't um, adjusted the resolution or something in, in the actual game options.
And voila, there we are. There is Stalker Soup ready to play. Thanks, friend. I owe you one. And that's where I just saved that chap at the garbage. Which I'm sure you'll be familiar with if you've played Stalker before. So as you can see, it works. It's DX9, so it's not going to be... Uh, well, like DX11. <laughs> but... As far as I'm concerned, performance is king. It feels very smooth, very crisp. And this is one of the biggest Stalker universes you can play in, so there you go. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will speak to you next time.